Well, if you watched last week, and I hope you did, Dr. Kirk Erickson talked about his role in the community. We, he was our Wiregrass personality. We talked about his upcoming football book and some safety rules uh, for playing football. I invited him to stay, and we did an interview, which you will see right now, on seven things. Seven is the perfect number, by the way, that you can do to improve your well-being, your health, your looks, and everything else in 2011. Dr. Erickson, thank you so much. I know that in addition to your chiropractic care, you teach health. You teach uh, proper nutrition, adding supplements and vitamins and things all natural. And it's really kept you and your family really healthy. And that's Absolutely. important. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, since the age of 19, I've not taken an antibiotic for being sick since I was 19 years of age. It's not that I would not take mm -hmm. an but antibiotic. But you, you didn't have to. Yes, I've only missed one day of work in my entire career, and that's when I had chicken pox. Because your son brought it home. That's I right. Love that. <laughs> oh, one day. That's not even bad. That's chicken it. pox usually lasts. You were a little speckled now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one, what's the first thing you should do in 2011? Stop smoking. Ooh, what's Smoke this girl doing here? Smoking is, oh, the, is the single largest preventative of thing that you can do to prevent disease and death. Now, it's tough, so don't be discouraged. The, the average smoker takes four times before they're successful in stopping smoking. Uh, our former uh, surgeon, uh, surgeon General, C. Everett Koop, said that nicotine is almost as addictive as heroin and cocaine. I've heard it is. But what we had in, in the Dothan Eagle here recently was the promotion of the Alabama Tobacco uh, quit line, which is a free service for people to uh, an online and, and telephone service to help people give them strategies and counseling to help uh, stop smoking. Um, smoking is um, is terrible for a lot of reasons. Uh, well, you think at heart, lungs, kidneys. Plus, let me tell you this: a lot of people quit smoking because it can affect your libido. Uh oh and it also can make your face ugly. You get more wrinkles as you suck on that yes. cigarette. Well, it, like you said, uh, men in their 30s and 40s will increase their risk of developing erectile dysfunction by 50%. Now, that alone should motivate these young teenagers and young adults to throw this stuff away. But we know that about 400,000 people die every year from smoking cigarettes. The World Health Organization tells us that 9% of the people that live on this planet are going to die because of smoking. It's a serious problem. And what about secondhand smoke? Absolutely. And that's why, you know, we have these laws now that we've, out, we've outlawed basically smoking in restaurants and whatnot. Um, the, the problem with smoking is that it decreases tissue oxygenation throughout the body. Which cleanses your body oxygenation and then those toxins stay. It ages your body. Now we see this when we see someone from the outside, how it ages their appearance and their face. But what's happening is aging their internal organs in their tissue in their body. It contributes to a degenerative disc disease in their spine. Cancer. Cancer, obviously, heart disease, but osteoporosis also, which is going to be uh, the first few uh, New Year's resolutions I'm going to cover, all have osteoporosis as one of the, 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 the uh, risks of not doing these different things. Okay, smoking we know. Try your best, start all over, keep it continuing. Number two, what's the number two? Drink more water. Yeah, I need to do more of that. I used to drink it all the time and you get busy. Don't drink coffee or tea. You yes. can drink that, but drink your water. How much water would you Well, say? about 60% of our body weight is made up of water. It's vitally important for carrying on the different functions to keep us healthy and, and, and normal. Um, but also, when you drink lots of water, you're going to drink less of garbage like mm -hmm. soda and sugary, sugary drinks. Um, soda, because of the phosphoric acid in it, helps to leach calcium from the bones, which contributes to mm -hmm. osteoporosis once again. Um, but also, artificial sweeteners are terrible, terrible, terrible. People don't realize what they're putting in their body. You need to, if you have to have sugar, substitute it with stevia and xylitol and even honey in certain situations. Mm -hmm. Drink more water. Okay, drink more water. Okay, next. And you can lose weight drinking more water, too, because you... Don't snack. Your body's thirsty sometimes, not hungry. All right, number three. Exercise. 
Exercise. Well, hey, since like we have that, edge. let's talk about eating healthy since that graphic's mm -hmm. up. We need to eat healthy. We need to eat as many fruits and vegetables as possible. Okay. We need to avoid uh, processed foods, refined carbohydrates. Meat is not as bad as we once thought it was, but we need to try don't to eat, eat so much. Don't eat so much and try to eat organic uh, meat if possible and organic produce as well. So don't but, have all those additives. Absolutely. Our son ate a product that was processed, our oldest son, and we all thought it was going to take him to the hospital. He had a allergic reaction, some of the additives. Okay, exercise. I'm not really prone to exercise. Exercise, yes. But it, you can start out very simply. Absolutely. And you know, it really doesn't take much. It just takes consistency and find things that you enjoy. It could be Zumba. It could be, uh, you know, aerobics. Your wife is a Zumba expert. Absolutely. Honey. She is. But exercise is the single most important thing we can do to help increase our longevity. Okay, mm -hmm. it can help reduce uh, blood pressure, helps keep your weight under control. Um, it, it has so many benefits. Um, but mood level is one of the most important things because uh, extra vigorous exercise acts like a mild antidepressant, and that's huge. And people have been depressed and they get out and walk about, and all of a sudden their mood lifts. That's yes. true. It reduces endorphins. What, what, what is, oh, that's the scale. Losing weight. I do not weigh any more as long as my clothes fit. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? But I threw away my scales when I turned 50, so you know how old I am. Ha <laughs> ha, a lot more than that. But um, you, you can become a slave to the scale. Sure. Or you can learn how to cooperate. Absolutely. And losing weight is uh, number five. Mm -hmm. And uh, keeping your body weight under control is much more than just cosmetic. Mm -hmm. Okay, we all like to look better. But it is very important in helping to re reduce our risk of uh, heart attacks, strokes, and diabetes. Mm. Uh, and it's very important to keep our, and also we know studies show that the uh, a caloric restriction, the less we eat, the, the lower we keep our body weight, correlates with how long we live mm -hmm. in life. That's important. Okay, next. Do we have another graphic? Stress. Oh, you know, we have different kinds of stress. Wow. <laughs> She looks like she's biting on something. <laughs> you know, the CDC says that about 90% of the doctor visits all are related in some way to stress. And the reason why stress is such a bad thing is that it causes our adrenal glands to basically dump hormones into our blood, which elevates our blood pressure. It kind of puts us in a kind of a almost constant state of fight or flight syndrome which that's okay if you're in a jungle and you're trying to outrun a, a tiger, mm. okay? But it's not okay if you're living in Dothan, Alabama, carrying on a normal life. You don't need to be in that constant state of readiness to run, jump. Okay, what do we do? I mean, you can't, and you can't just always change a stressful job. You know, I know faith has a lot to do with it. Sure. Counting your blessings. What do you say as a professional? Well, you know, we, sometimes you have to look at your life very, you know, objectively and make some changes. Uh, exercising will reduce stress. And the thing about exercise in related to stress is that um, stress causes cortisol to be dumped into your bloodstream, which is bad mm -hmm. for your body, so a stress hormone. Um, the best time to exercise is after the most stressful part of your day. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, exercise, make some changes in your life, take a vacation, maybe uh, change your job possibly. Mm -hmm. um, there's different things that you, you can do. Because you want to live long and feel good and look better. Mm. Well, I hope you have a wonderful new year, and I know you will. I can't wait for your football book to come out. Thank you so much for sharing, Dr. Kirk Erickson, and we're going to give you some information. You can actually go online, and he has health tips that he gives all the time, www.chirohealthinstitute.com or call him at 334-793-7992. Let's try to have a healthier and a happier 2011. Dr. Kirk Erickson.